Ladies, if you give a man this one thing, this one thing, you will have him eating out of the palm of your hands. And this one thing is... Peace is what a man is looking for. Men just want a nice, sweet, supportive woman. The easiest way to keep a man is be the only place he can find genuine peace. peace. Not beauty, not money, not status. Do we want those things? Yes. But where we find peace, we will settle. If you can give a man true peace of mind, where he can just sit, chill, and turn his brain off, even for 10 minutes, I swear to God he'll always come home to you. So when I tell women, you need to be a man's peace, you need to make sure he has a peaceful home and a peaceful relationship, if you you disturb that he will look for peace elsewhere greetings everyone welcome back to my channel it is your boy perry walker where i help build strong christian marriages that last now boy that number one thing that a man needs is peace oh my god i think that's up there with respect i think respect and peace are like tied neck and neck for number one you give a man peace ladies i'm telling you you have a man eating out the palm of your hands. Now, guys, fellas, am I lying? Am I lying? Peace is a thing that we as men, we desire. Especially if we work the hard day and we come home, the last thing we want to hear is someone in our ear. And we understand that our ladies have a lot going on. We know that sometimes our ladies have a lot going on in their day and they just want to talk about it, but... We men, we're different. When we come home, especially if we had a hard, hard day, all we want to do is chill. We don't want to hear about what Bobby, Johnny, Sally, Susan, Shaniqua did at school. We don't want to hear about your girlfriends, and we don't want to hear about this bill or that or whatever. We just want to unwind for a little while it doesn't mean that we don't want to hear about your day it doesn't mean that we don't care about your day men are wired differently from women and i think that sometimes women forget that now ladies have you ever wondered especially you ladies that consider yourself pretty women because you got these ladies that are saying well i'm a pretty girl and men are afraid to approach pretty girls have you ever wondered why You'll see these certain type of men, these men that you may consider high value with the most ordinary, plain Jane woman. And you're like, what does she have that I don't have? And I can tell you nine times out of 10, if this man is a man of standard walking with dignity and this lady isn't contentious and he's not what they call a simp. I hate using that word. This woman brings him peace and she respects him along with the whole gamut of package. It made me think of this one soccer player named Declan Rice. Now, I did a video on him and his girlfriend. He has a girlfriend that does not meet the beauty standards of today. As a matter of fact, his fans ripped into him for having such an ordinary woman and having children with her. But this man defended her because she brings him a level of peace, respect, and a space that he can walk into that he loves and cherish. And at the same time, he gives her the love and the affection and all those things that women are crying and begging over because she gives him peace. Now, <laughs> Solomon says it like this. It is better to dwell in the wilderness than with a contentious and angry woman. And I know, I know I'm going to hear some of my sisters in the background saying, Why are you always saying that black women are mean and are contentious? Why is it when you talk about this, you always talk about black women? Now, I know that there are other women that do it. So I'm not just going to get on my sisters. But I know that my sisters get a bad rap for this, and it's unfortunate. We just got to... Be honest here, whether you are a sister, whether you're Hispanic, whether you're white, I don't care who you are. If you don't bring a man peace, if you're always riding this case, if you're on him about this, on him about that. And I'm not saying that some of you ladies don't have a legitimate complaint because there are some men that are a little slow to get going. But I will say this, you ladies chose him. And if you chose him, you got to work with him. But for the most part, if you want a man to give you all of those things that you desire. If you desire from a man, the love, the affection, the loyalty, right? The honesty, all those things, give him an environment of peace and respect. 
I mean, a man will settle for a woman, like I said, that's a plain Jane ordinary if he gets those things from her. Because there's no amount of money that could buy peace. There's no amount of money that could buy respect. Those are the things that a man needs over money. Those are things a man needs over looks. And ladies, I'm sorry, most men don't care about your career. It doesn't mean that they don't care that you have a career. That's not it. Because most productive men want a woman that's doing something. But they don't care about you leading with that. You leading with your accolades, saying what type of woman you are, isn't going to get it. And I know I'm going to have some people that have watched some of my videos going to come back and say, well, brother, didn't you do a video on a young lady to talk about that she won't settle for less than what she deserves? Yes, I did. I did. But I also said that if that young lady does not temper her ambition with balance, she could end up like Ebony Kay. But for the most part, I didn't disagree with her. And the same goes with the man. But I digress. I don't want to get off topic. But if you are a person that put in the work, there are certain things that you can request and demand. But with that being said, when it comes to men, though, peace and respect, a peaceful house. One of the things that I remember when my wife and I lived in Minnesota, when I worked at, at Seagate, and man, I would have to deal with a whole lot there. I had a guy that I was dealing with who said I wasn't the right type of Christian because my church uses instruments in the church. <laughs> and this dude would be constantly in my ear. Oh, my God. I'd be like wore down from that and dealing with some of the engineers and just all the work. But when I came home, my wife had the windows open. The food was cooking. She was singing. When I came into the house, I wasn't hit with a barrage of, Marcus did this, the baby did that, I'm tired. And you could think of any other thing that some ladies would say. And it's not that I wouldn't have been concerned about those things, but she didn't do that. She had a peaceful place. I loved coming home to my wife singing and her cooking. She wasn't the greatest cook, but I didn't care, man. It was just so peaceful. The house was clean. The environment, the ambience was set. I would sit down and my wife would bring me some juice or some water, right? And I tell you, <laughs> my wife could get anything out of me because she built an environment that was conducive, conducive for me to do whatever she wanted. I'm telling you. And right now, my wife can get anything she wants out of me because she brings me peace. Now, were there times where she nagged me? Yes. Yes, we're not perfect. Were there times that I deserved the nagging? Yes, there were times I deserved the nagging. But for the most part, my wife is skilled at reading the room. Oh, man, you got to have a skilled woman. It's nothing like a woman that knows how to set the environment. And my wife was like that. I mean, she was masterful, and she still is masterful like that. My wife can give a master class at showing women how to set the environment for your husband, right? And then when I would get relaxed, now back to the story, <laughs> when I would get relaxed, then she would tell me the concerns of the day. And I was able to address those concerns. So ladies, listen to me. I am not picking on you. I'm not pointing a finger at you. I'm not saying that your concerns and your needs that you have on your mind and on your heart aren't important. And I'm not saying that they don't need to be said to your man, to your husband. But I'm just saying, if you want your husband to be able to hear you, especially if you're a stay-at-home mom, if you work outside the home, if it's any of your concerns, if you want anything, anything from your man. Build an environment of peace for him. And that doesn't mean that you got to belittle yourself. Doesn't mean you have to be walked on. A man don't want to walk over a woman. A man don't want to push over a woman. A man does want a woman that has spunk. He doesn't want some yes woman. But what he wants is a woman that knows how to bring a peaceful and respectful environment 
because that type of woman will get anything she wants from her husband. And if I'm lying, I'm dying. Men, chime in. Let me know about this. Ladies, if you are a peaceful engineer, architect in your home, chime in and let these young ladies know. Old ladies know because some old ladies still haven't learned their lesson either. So if you found anything useful in this, give me a thumbs up so that it could spread across the internet webs and stuff. And if you really dig what I'm saying, you can watch another one of my videos that's up in either one of those corners up there. And if you want to take it a step further, subscribe to my channel and watch some of my other videos. So until the next time, I will see you on the next one. Peace.